every sport can be broken down into skills. So if we look at football, it can be broken down into the skills of passing, of shooting, of dribbling. For cricket, we've got bowling, batting, fielding. And then other sports may only have one skill, such as throwing a dart or such as running. Closed skills take place in a stable and predictable environment. So if a performer is to repeat a closed skill, the environment is going to be very similar each time. Examples of closed skills include, include a free throw in basketball, a serve in tennis and a penalty in football. For example, a penalty in football is always taken from the same spot, the same distance away from the goal, and the goalkeeper always starts in the middle of the goal. So a penalty taker, if they were to take a penalty a hundred times, the environment is always going to be pretty similar. On the other hand, open skills take place in a variable and unpredictable environment. And examples of open skills include dribbling in basketball, a tackle in rugby, and a forehand shot in tennis. So if we think about dribbling in basketball, the environment is unpredictable because the defenders are always in a different position. They might be putting pressure on you as you're dribbling or they might be backing off. Your teammates are all in different positions and you're always dribbling at different points on the court.